Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. We're going to be covering the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Looking at the Baltimore Ravens, they are out um, with one of the best weapons, prolific weapon, Lamar Jackson. You see the last couple of weeks, uh, he went down in the game and then now missed another game. You're looking at the first time he's ever missed a game in his career. Where is this Ravens team without him? They put up points. Mind you, they can put up points without Lamar Jackson, but the consistency of the offense is not there. Um, having Lamar Jackson is its like a Mike Vick code. When you have a guy that can move the chains fairly quickly with just a flick of the wrist or even just darting his legs, that makes a big, big, big difference for your defense on the opposite side the night before, game planning, a number of things. So. We've seen this Baltimore team kind of transition a little further without Lamar as far as offensively. Um, I like the way that they played last week. You know, when they're playing the Packers, they're, they're up against a tough test because Aaron Rodgers can score with the best of them. I was surprised they scored as many points as they did, but they did end up helping themselves with the cause. I think that, you know, going for two, Harbaugh has to live with that decision. If you feel it in your gut, go for it. I tell people all the time. Don't Monday morning quarterback a decision like that. If you're going to pick a decision like that and go for it, stand steadfast with your team. You know you practice in with your guys. You know how they operate throughout the week. I would say if you know those are your guys, go for it. Cincinnati comes into this game and, and well wishes to Teddy Bridgewater. You know, the big hit that he took, you know, they did. The Bengals, that <laughs> shook up the whole game. And when you're looking at the Bengals, they were able to kind of pull the rest of the game out of that after uh, Teddy Bridgewater went down. But you're looking at this Bengals team, and they are winning games that are close. They're winning games in different ways, no matter if it's offense one week, whether it be Joe Burrow throwing for low passing yards one week, whether it be them exploding for big numbers, or whether it be the defense stepping up with a timely stop on third or fourth down against a team in the red zone. So I want to see the Bengals in this game use Joe Mixon, run the football. This is going to be the formula that you need to have if you plan on making the playoffs and trying to make that push. You're going to need to run the football. Have your offensive identity running the football. You can have wide receivers. You can have the triplets. Joe Mixon is going to be your MVP if this team goes anywhere in the playoffs. You got to keep in mind, Joe Burrow, you want to keep him upright. You want to keep him safe. He is the franchise. Mixon and the committee of running backs that you have are, are talented enough to, to, to break some of these holes wide open. When I'm looking at the, the Bengals, it's almost like they run just enough to make a team like, eh, will they run? But they don't run it enough. When you have a back like Mixon, you want to make sure you force feed him the ball. Make sure you get him as many touches as possible. Not just in the backfield. Make sure you get him some bubble screens. Make sure you get some some him some uh, around the uh, around the defensive tackle, around the DN. Those little bubble hook plays where he just basically goes out five yards and turns around. Get him the ball early so that defense can adjust to him and then boom, beat him with the wide receivers over the top. Beat him with the slants. Beat him with all those other things. The, the football team becomes that much more dangerous when Mixon's in the game plan. I think this is going to be a close game here. If Lamar Jackson doesn't play, that's going to be big for this because that has the playoff implications. That has the, the Ravens basically need to stop losing games because they're losing ground fairly quickly. Um, and when you look at this overall, I like the Cincinnati team better. Cincinnati somehow, if they have the advantage, they play down to their opponent and they lose big time. It's just been a number of things that they just do poorly. In this game, I'm trusting them to get the job done. I think that this is a rivalry game. They're going to hold Pat and play with the intensity that they need to play with that they did earlier this season. So I'm picking the Bengals to win this one in this. And I think that, you know, Baltimore in about a week or so should get Lamar back if they don't get him back this week. And we'll see where they go from there. But are you Bengals fans? Are you Ravens fans? Get in the comment section below. Definitely tell me what you think about my prediction. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, folks. And we'll see you on the next video.